Hello everybody, this is the second part of my quick review of the Xeon Crane. During the first part I tested the Xeon Crane with the Sigma 18-35mm f1.8 art lens, which is very front heavy. I could only test mode 3 with this combination. I recently got a 24mm Canon FD lens and a Metacon lens turbo adapter for my Sony A6300. With this combination the crane also works in the first two modes. I'm not a trained light cam operator, so for this test I didn't even try to walk or run like one. This is more or less what you can expect when you aren't trained to use a glide cam. With a bit of training the up and down motion will be a lot smoother. This is filmed in mode 1. And this is filmed in mode 2. Again, I'm not running like a glide cam operator. <laughs> There's another thing that I really like about the crane. And that's the pan or tilt feature. You can also use this feature with the Bluetooth remote control or your mobile phone. I want to show you some shots that I did with the crane for a recent video project. For the first one I mounted the crane on a tripod and used the remote control. You can also watch the whole video including some other crane shots on my Vimeo account. I hope this video helps you to make up your mind whether or not the Xeon Crane is right for you. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye bye!